so guys, it is 9, 10 in the morning. We're supposed to have class at 9, but got canceled. So instead of just going back to sleep, thought it'd be a little bit more productive. Take advantage of the fact that I've gotten up already. I had this extra hour to kill and get stuff done. So I'm gonna go do some laundry, then hit the gym at around 10, 10, 15. Did a hectic day. Got 10, 10, 15 gym. Meeting up with a study group at like noonish. Today's just an all shoulders day. I might take it totally off from the squats today because I'm a little tight, I'm not gonna lie. All the squatting every day is kind of getting to me. So one day off won't kill me. Also, I'm thinking about doing maybe a, a series of uh, so this is what I was thinking. Since I have such a tight lower back and I need to get my mobility in, I was thinking maybe I'd do a little series called Yoga Sunday or Stretch Sunday, something like that. Just a, maybe just like a 20 minute, 15 minute segment where I literally just do a bunch of different stretches. And you guys can follow along if you want. I'd post it every Sunday morning. I would do it every Saturday morning. <laughs> but it's an idea. Let me, know, let me know what you guys think. But yeah, I'm gonna go get these errands done and then I gotta work at four. It'll be a hectic day. And then Pops is coming down from Jersey to come stay in Florida with us. Should be fun. Here we go, guys. Get that intro. Again, some goodies at Publix. Pro tip. Free samples on count towards your macros. So good. We're got time. Boom. So fam, voiceover time. So today I lied. Instead of taking the day off from squats totally or all together, decided to hit a front squat, max effort. <laughs> Which, when I was doing the conjugate system, the most I ever did was 315. But when I, the first day of squat every day, I pulled a front squat, hit 295, left some in the tank, and came back to it today. So the way I'm doing it is I'm just keeping track of all the variations, writing down date, variation, weight that I hit. So warmed up, bar, two sets of 10, 25, set of 10, 135 set of eight uh, working on movement speed making sure everything was loose I've been taking a lot of time stretching and doing mobility just because it's the only way I'm gonna feel warm the only way my back is gonna feel not tight and ready to go so I hit 185 for six 225 for a triple and then I went on to not really max effort attempts but just doing my jumps from there. So I went 275, strapped the belt on, uh, felt good, moved fast, no complaints. And then instead of doing 295, I did something that my boy Luke always says, and he says, secure the PR. So instead of doing 295, which I know I've done, which I know I can get, slapped on 300, even though my goal for the day was 315, slapped on 300, hit that real quick, um, moved real smooth, real fast, no real breakdown, I'm getting a lot better at setting up the front squat too. What I'm doing is that I'm finding the, I'm releasing all my tension, letting all my, all my breath out, finding that sweet spot, getting underneath, and then tightening up every part of my body. This only works, this is, I know for a fact, this is only gonna work for a one rep max, because otherwise it's not gonna work. I, won't, I can't stay that tight for that long. And I notice it while doing the 315. I'll go get tight, because if, you bring, if you get tight and you put all the pressure, then you take the weight off the rack, the pressure on your shoulders is not gonna be as great, which I really, really like. So you get, so I got tight, when it came down, up 300, awesome. 315, took about a four minute break. Um, in my mind, I knew that I could get it. It was just like, keep your form as precise as possible. The last thing you wanna do is break at the lower back and have to muscle it up in just because I knew I could get it because I've 315 in terms of strength it's in me you know my legs are strong enough to move it it's just a matter of how tight I can stay how low I'm getting how good my form is and here's a rock clip guys
So I hit it, felt really, really good. And then the rest of the workout called for just a shoulder workout. Um, like I said, I've been feeling very under the weather and I hate complaining, I hate doing that because there's no excuse usually. So what I did was I started my first, my main set of dumbbell shoulder press seated, did five sets and then I just, there's also a difference between grinding it out and muscling, you know, grinding it out, going into the gym, doing what you can and then just like half-assing a workout. I just told myself like, if you're not gonna do it seriously, then go home, rest up, live to live, live to lift another day. So, that might be the title of this video. Live to lift another day. But yeah guys, just did my five sets and I just decided that's it, I'm done. I'm not gonna get a good workout in. So what I might do tomorrow is hit that shoulder day. And then do arms on Friday, what's no? Now do chest and back Friday, arms on Saturday, legs on Sunday. Thank you for the voiceover, guys. Stay tuned for some good eats, and thanks for all the support. Peace. I'm not gonna be able to bring the, the, the kids. Some online coach. So, stay home. Chicken teriyaki bowl. Hope you guys are with the bro. Shrimp pie. Every time. Um, mm. But next year definitely we'll be there. What is good, guys? We just got to work. It's almost five o'clock brought my camera in today. Usually I just use my phone to record when I'm at work. Brought the camera in today just to change it up. Feeling a little bit better, kind of nap for about two hours. My eyes a little watery. I think I'm just, I have the cold, or a cold. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna eat some goodies, complete cookie, and cookies and cream combat bar. I'm just gonna feast on both of these right now, I'm pretty hungry. And I have a sweet tooth, really bad. And it's gonna get me pretty close to my macros because I've already had two of those plates. Guys, this cookie is amazing. Got the online coach decal there, watching some max tuning. But this is so good. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. I know it's short, short but sweet. <laughs> I'm gonna try to cut down the video length for a little, uh, a little bit, cause not everybody enjoys the nine to twelve minute videos. Five, five to seven is that nice sweet spot, I think. And today's workout was pretty short, so that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, everything's been pretty consistent. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting close to that. Oh, what's up, arm vein? We're getting pretty close to that uh, 600 mark. So, also, I got an Instagram picture with over 200 likes, which was awesome. All thanks to you guys and the support that I've been getting. And let's just keep growing together, and big things coming real soon in terms of everything, in terms of sponsor, uh, collabs, I got something else in the works for mid-February in Jersey, name that guy, name that YouTuber. Okay. Until next time guys, peace, cue that outro.